Hey everybody, Chuck and Mary here. I know it's been a while since we uh, did our last update and I apologize. It's we been, hear you, we hear you. We've had a lot of people say, <laughs> gosh, when's the new one coming? And so finally we're getting it done. And so it's been a hot minute, yeah. um, but uh, lots happened. We've had Carson out here with us, so we've stayed pretty busy actually. We, we kind of try to get out and do stuff during the day and check areas out. Um, and so honestly, we, we've stayed really busy, but it's no excuse, but uh, we finally got it out to you, so we kind of get to keep up with what we're doing. Um, so we're going to just let you go through the video and watch and uh, see what we've done. Kind of talk you through all the pictures. <laughs> the camera's about to blow over, so yeah. <laughs> um, so anyways, uh, enjoy the video, and we'll see you after. Okay, this is up near Aska Trails in Blue Ridge, Georgia. This is where we were camped at when uh, Carson first came out to stay with us. And uh, it's just a real neat area. There's lots of hiking trails and that sort of thing. And uh, tons of where old cabins have been. So there's old fireplaces that are still standing. We also toured around uh, the falling or the swinging bridge. Is that what it's called? Swinging the swinging bridge, bridge. Yeah. I hope it's not the falling bridge. That'd be bad. Like but Carson was uh, shaking it to make it fall almost yeah. to there. Leave it to Carboy. Always it goes over up. the Tacoa River that winds all through that whole area Beautiful. up there. <clears throat> really pretty, pretty area. But uh, it's cold that day. It was really cold that day. Yeah. You can tell by how we're dressed. Yeah. We went to a Bigfoot museum. I think it kind of prompted our uh, Bigfoot stickers on our truck. It was really interesting. That and Jimmy and Peggy gave us those stickers. So it was kind of a joke. But This is a covered bridge. Uh, the I think it's the last one in existence in South Carolina. Uh, so that was really cool just to, to see that really pretty area. They've kind of made a park. Built in 1909. This bridge was built in 1820, almost 100 years before. Used to be the main thoroughfare between Asheville, North Carolina, and Greenville, South Carolina. So probably more horses than cars have been across that bridge. Um, but uh, lots of neat history. And it's been remarkably well preserved. Mm -hmm. But real narrow, as you can see. You'd be hard-pressed to get one car through there, let alone two. <clears throat> This is just some drone footage that I got. One day we were driving around Tigerville, South Carolina, which is another area that we really, really like over in South Carolina. And uh, just saw this pretty area with a big ranch. And so I stopped on the side of the road and got a little drone footage so you could kind of see the hills and the mountains around there. Um, being winter, there's not many leaves on the trees, but I can guarantee you in summertime, this place is loaded with green trees. Some shot of downtown Greenville. We had been before, but we took Carson, and we managed to get a reservation for some dueling pianos, and that was my mm. drink there, the fishbowl. <laughs> That's fun. That was a blast. Thing. Yeah, this was, uh, what was the name of this place? Uh, that was Wildcat Branch Falls, okay. there, um, just outside of, of Traveler's Rest in South Carolina. Just along the roadway, you pull over and have this little hike. I think it was about a mile and a half round trip or something, and... Um, just a whole bunch of little waterfalls like this. Really pretty, neat area. And hadn't had rain for a couple of days, so the water was real clear. And they built it in the 20s and 30s as a place for people that were traveling through there to kind of stop and get to see the area and, and enjoy. And so, kind of neat. As you hike the trail, the waterfall just kind of continues and gets higher and higher. Like there you can see. They have signs about not climbing up there. Yeah. We stopped to get an ice cream one day along a roadside place, and this was dronage I got. This was a blast. We went to a race. A bunch of the old dirt bike riders that we used to follow 15, 18 years ago were racing in a car race. Ricky Carmichael, Jeremy McGrath, a few others. And it was like two miles from our campground. So we were like, what the heck? Let's do it. So we went over there and, and we just had so much fun. It was a fun evening and uh, got to get a little fun dronage over the racetrack and and it was just really cool it was kind of neat because uh mary and carson got to go into the pits and actually meet um pretty much all of the riders and uh there's some, yeah there's mary and jeremy mcgrath yeah and then carson with ricky carmichael who was yeah. always his all-time favorite yeah and then carson and jeremy there <clears throat> a lot of fun this is overlooking Huntsville. This is on the outskirts. Those are beautiful houses down there, by the way. This is a really, really nice neighborhood. But it kind of just fell off there on the edge of this cliff, and it was cool. So I thought, I'm going to get some drone footage of uh, the city of Huntsville. It was a little bit hazy that day, so the 
footage isn't super clear. That's the home of Helen Keller. She was born in Tuscumbia, uh, uh, Alabama. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's all running together. That's also downtown Tuscumbia. Uh, some footage there of the area. That was the courthouse. Just a neat old building. A lot of this stuff, I mean, it has historical significance, but it's more just cool looking and, and uh, just the history back there is awesome. There in the center of town, they have Spring Park, which I think that the sign said it's the largest man-made waterfall. Or was it then. Was probably. then. Yeah, I, I don't, don't know. know. I don't know if anymore. But just neat. A little park. Go out there and picnic or whatever and enjoy. Weather was nice that day. Some people out enjoying the park. There's a photo of the falls. Fame Recording Studios. This was a really cool tour that Carson and I got to do at the Muscle Shoals Sound Studio there. You see Carson in front of it. Tons of history, music history, and it was a really fun tour. Muscle Shoals has got swampers. swampers. That's right. <laughs> There's the pups on our way from Alabama into downtown Hot Springs, Arkansas. Yep, there's Some of the Hot Springs. Old That's hotels. Superior. The uh, bathhouses. Yeah, the bathhouses. The token butterfly picture you got to get. A lot of fun. There's Carson and Capone. I guess a lot of the uh, old gangsters used to go there and hang out. The uh, hot springs and that sort of thing or the bath houses I think they were flying under the radar <clears throat> yeah yeah so overlook over lake wachita we learned of this place it's called hickory nut last time we were here and it is just gorgeous and awesome place for drone footage um but as i turn here you'll get to see the lake and that lake is massive i think it's about 30 or 40 miles long something like that and you can go out and actually camp on all those islands out there and it's kind of like you know, you're just free to do what you want to do out there, and, and uh, people really respect that. It's it's cool. But this parking lot's kind of like a, just on a ridge that overlooks. You can kind of have a 360-degree view of the area. <clears throat> really pretty. Really pretty sunsets. I know the first time we were up here, the sunset was just yeah. beautiful. And even, you'll see a pic here, it was it was pretty that night as well. Yeah. First time I ever saw fireflies was right up there. I was yeah. tripping out. This is a, I just found a, racetrack horse racetrack in a neighborhood in hot springs and so i got dronage that's where we met josh and heather um had a blast with them a lot of fun um jimmy and peggy came out and we met them in hot springs got to spend some time with them we did a like a uh, little hike around lake catherine confederate cemetery these are all uh confederate soldiers kind of interesting Eagle Mill over there in the uh, red building in the background. Neat old bridge. Wow, that's cool. Really pretty area around here. Okay, well, we hope you enjoyed the video. <clears throat> and uh, we are now in the Bentonville, Fayetteville, Arkansas area. And we love it here. It's gorgeous. Um, we're staying at a campground now outside of Cave Springs. Uh, been here for a few days, made some really great new friends, uh, Stephen and Tara. They're camped a few spaces down from us and we've just met tons of fun, fun people. Such fun, trip. yeah, nice people on this trip. And we've also experienced the whole gamut of weather at this campsite in the last you know, few days that we've been yeah. here. We went from shorts, 70 degrees and sunny, to tornado warnings and chances of snow and freezing today so it's yeah. just like it is it's cold out here today it's kind of breezy and cold and cloudy um was a possibility of snow this morning uh -huh. didn't get any but um we've actually only had snow my dad had asked me about the snow we only had snow uh, a couple of days in tennessee um the camera and kind a of little bit in blue ridge georgia a couple of times while you were yeah. Gone. yeah yeah we did have just little flurries here just and there, flurries, but nothing that's been yeah. unmanageable or anything like that now i do know in arkansas they did get well we were not here Yes. That, what, like a foot? Yeah, they said they got quite a bit, like so, the most they've seen in years and years. So, but uh, 
it's not real common to get that much, but it can happen. Yeah. Um, so, but yeah, it's been interesting. It kind of keeps things interesting because it'll go from 80s one day to 40s the next day. Um, and I so, was telling Chuck, you need to have a change of clothes in your car just because it's seriously. like you leave the house and all of a sudden you're like, you know what? I dressed completely wrong for yeah. today. So yeah, that'll be a, a thing that'll be a little different, but so. From here we go, uh, we're in this area until Wednesday and then we're going to be heading to Eureka Springs area for a few days and then into um, Harrison. So kind of just a tour of that whole nor northwest corner. Yeah. Um, just kind of just trying to find what areas we like, near towns we like. And We've kind of that. boiled it down to South Carolina or Arkansas. Um, we've kind of started looking at places on Zillow and seeing what's out there. Um, not sure yet whether we want to buy a property with a house already on it or just buy property and put our own house on it. We went yesterday and spoke to a company that actually you own the property and they just come and build a house for you. It's like a custom builder basically deal. Um, and so found some neat floor plans, uh, but that might be the cheaper way to go. Um, so we're, we're, no options are off the table at this point, but we love this area. We really do. Um, kind of east of Bentonville is probably that and the Greenville, South Carolina area are two favorite areas. I think Love Hot Springs too. That's a really neat area. Mm -hmm. um, but probably Arkansas, South Carolina, one of those two is where it's going to be. So yeah, so we're probably getting close to a decision time, and we it's will been we'll a let you know when we for, figure it out. It's been a good area for Carson um, as he's been door dashing and stuff. That's There's right. been a lot of successful days for him, so that's good. He's able to make some money and and stuff while we're moving on along here so yeah it's been good we've each gotten the chance to go with him a couple of times and it's kind of fun. fun yeah it was kind of, kind of fun, fun. yeah so. uh it's been a good thing because wherever we're at he can actually work so it's kind of like he can take the work with him yeah so um yeah so anyways all right everybody am i forgetting anything i don't think so but uh we'll try to make the next one a little closer on the heels of this one yeah just you know we've been kind keep of everybody happy yeah <laughs> All right. We love you all. all right. And we'll see you on the next one. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.